Haha, <laughs> okay, I'm intrigued now, let's do it. We might be busy doing other things to fall asleep, but she's literally implying that she wants to get with him tonight. This is powerful, guys. This is really powerful. What's up, Team SK? So if you've ever tried a dating app like Bumble or Tinder or Hinge, then a lot of you know how difficult it is to get matches sometimes. And especially on dating apps, because they say that for every one girl, there is 10 guys, which means that if you don't find a way to separate yourself from the competition, then you will be left behind and fade away. And even on the occasion that you do get a match from her, a lot of guys try to message her and they just never hear back from her, which leaves the question, what do you say to her? The opening message has to be the hook that draws them in, and there is one specific opening line that we found that will work on any dating app, especially Bumble, that will draw them in and raise their attraction to the point that they want to sleep with you that night. But before we show you what it is really quickly, I'm Sonic Kim, America's face of dating, and I've helped over 100,000 people in 30 different countries attract and date the woman of their dreams, and if you'd like to book a call to work with us, then click the link in the description below. So we're going to be showing you the opening line that has a 99.9% .9 response rate, and also the conversation that happens afterward as a little bonus. Because a lot of people want to know what it looks like in the messages so they can model it and get all the success that our clients are getting. But before we actually get into the messages and the line, there's a little disclaimer that I want to throw out to you. Most guys are messaging me and they're asking me, what's the best pickup line? This is not a typical pickup line that we're throwing out there. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. This is also not the typical hate trouble line that has been abused like thousands of times and girls have seen over and over and over again. Because if you've watched my video, best Tinder open that will get a response from any girl, then you know about the Tinder study. Basically, they made Tinder profiles for three very attractive models on Tinder. And you would think that they got 10 messages a day or even 12 messages per day if they're lucky. But each profile got over 80 messages per day from guys trying to do pickup lines or compliments or just trying to be nice. The good news is that she's probably never seen this before and it's gonna separate you from the other 50 plus messages that she's ignoring right now. But here's the line that has a 99.9% .9 response rate. You look like a good, bad idea. I know, I know. As simple as it may seem, just watch where it's taken. This is actually one of my friends, and he was one of the first people I ever coached on this stuff, so you know he's a smooth operator. So if you're not getting at least two dates per week, then you need to model exactly what I'm gonna be showing you in these next couple examples. So he opens her and says, you look like a good, bad idea. She goes, ah ha 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 ha, because I got two of your weaknesses. P.S. in his bio, his bio says, my weaknesses are big tits and foreign girls. So you're about to find that out in a second. But he goes, big tits? Yes. Foreign? Hmm. You look basic, if anything, darling. She goes, what do you mean? Ha ha ha. So what he did right there, it's a really good tease because he basically said, hey, you look basic, which almost sounds like an insult, but it's not. It's like a backhanded insult in a way. And what this does is it positions him up here and her down here because he's basically able to tease her. It's called a nay, where he's almost devaluing her position in a way. What he's really doing here is implying that she might be boring, which challenges her to prove him wrong. She then goes, what you mean, haha? <laughs> and he goes, you don't seem like the foreign type, silly. She laughs a lot, ah ha ha LMAO. I just moved from Armenia like six months ago. Armenia, hmm? And you've got perfect English, darling. Do you come with an accent? Whenever I hear the word darling, it's like, it reminds me of something like country. Like, darling? She goes, I surely do. How cute. Curious to hear it over iMessage. This is a really good way to go for the clothes because a lot of guys will just say, here's my number, text me. But he's making it seem like a fashionable way where it's not like he's saying she's a hoe, like, hey, text me and let's hook up. He's saying, hey, let me hear your accent over text. He's basically given like a, an alternate route to get to the number that doesn't make it seem so dirty, I guess you can say. But he gives her his number and then she goes, what about Snap? And notice how he also said, unless you're too shy. Basically, he's taking the number away. He's like, okay, like, here's my number, but unless you're, like, too shy. Which makes people chase that. People want to work for something instead of just having it handed to them. And she goes, what about Snap? And so he just, he sends her the Snapchat because he's like, eh, I'm not gonna be difficult here. When a girl asks for Snapchat, usually it's a bad sign, but he did say that they got together a few days later. So let's move into example number two. And as you can see, the first line, as we predicted, you look like a good, bad idea. And she goes, what you mean? With the eyes. If you use this line, then you will commonly get that when a girl's like, or what you mean? What are you talking about? And so look how he handles this test because she's like, I'm confused. What do you mean? He goes, like the kind of girl who'd keep me up all night long watching Netflix, Missy. And also the PS is a really powerful technique is that he called her Missy. He's labeling her. And we only label something that we see as beneath us or something that we have power over, which automatically makes her talk to you, obviously, as if you're higher position than her, higher status than her. This almost gives you like a sense of control over who you're talking to when you label them. She then goes, hmm, what's wrong with watching Netflix all night? And he's like, let's try it out, darling. Just promise me one thing. She goes, what? Try not to fall asleep in my arms. Like I said, said, this is really powerful. When he's going for the clothes, he takes it away. He's like, let's try it out, but just promise me one thing. And that taking it away makes people chase because they're feeling like they're working for you. And when someone feels like they're working for you, it makes your value increase. She then goes, haha, okay, I'm intrigued. Now let's do it. We might be busy doing other things to fall asleep, but like I said, this is really powerful, guys. This is really powerful stuff right here. She's literally implying that she wants to get with him like tonight. And so he goes, but well, you better text me before this offer expired. And then gives her his number. Guys, that is the best open
opening line you can use on Bumble or Tinder right now. Make sure to check out our other videos about how to text a girl and make her chase you. Let me know in the comments how you use this example and how it went for you. I'm Sonic Kim, America's face of dating, and I will see you next time.